Welcome. This is one in a series of how-to videos for IMD2. In this video, we will cover how to extract data using an input file in the IMD2 batch feature. The first thing we need is our input file. These are a simple text file with just a single item per line. We will be searching by NIN, so we've listed a few here. Save this file as text in a location you can find later and give it a meaningful name. Open IMD2 by browsing to the installation folder and double clicking the IMD2 application. From the main page, we'll use this menu to select batch. Once in the batch feature, you'll see there are many options available. This dropdown contains the primary keys. In this example, we'll choose NIN. This information box tells us we can use an input file to search specific items, or we can give this a job name to extract the full tables. In this example, we would like to use an input file to search specific items. Click this blue button to browse to the file location, select the input file, and click open. The full path to the input file, including the file name, now appear. Below that, the tables with NIN as the primary key appear. Remember, we chose NIN as our primary key earlier. Click on the table name to view included data fields. In this example, we'll choose only freight and packaging. Scroll down, deselect all, and select only the freight and packaging tables. Once the tables are selected, click the output folder button and browse to the desired output location. Notice the path to the previously selected input file is populated by default. Click Run to start the pull. Batch jobs will vary in time to completion as each table can vary greatly in size. At the top of the screen, the information bar has changed to a progress bar. It shows the job finished successfully and how long it took. This was a fast job as this input file only had a few items, but batch jobs can take a list of hundreds, thousands, or even tens of thousands of items. During longer extracts, the progress bar will indicate that the job is processing, what file it's processing, how many tables have been processed, and how long the job is taking. Upon completion, click here to open the output folder. In the output folder, we see files named to include the input file name along with the table name selected for output. Each of these files can be opened in Notepad, Excel, Access, or imported into another database. Inside each file, you will see the full data set with the data fields at the top in comma-separated format. That was how to extract data using an input file in the IMD2 batch feature. Check out our other videos on how to use IMD2. Thanks for watching.